Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to change it up today from fishing, do some uh, mushroom hunting. Rained pretty good at the beginning of this week, Monday, Tuesday I think. Now it's Sunday, it's hotter than hell, it's about 90 some degrees. It's a great day to find some chanterelles. Let's see what we can do. Score. That's what we're looking for. Right there. There's only a couple here, but I got some bigger patches back in here. Hope there's two more. And when you're hunting chanterelles, you get a nice sharp knife. Break it off at the base. Take your knife. Cut off any part with dirt on this on the stem. Now ideally I would have a brush to clean all this dirt off. I don't have a brush today. So we're gonna have to clean them when we get home. And a nice mesh mushroom bag. The best time to get them is before the rain because it splashes dirt up on top of them. It makes them kind of nasty sometimes. Got a nice new one over here. Looks pretty clean. Oh, there's a couple up in here. I knew it would be a good day for them. Gonna try to brush this off best I can. Put them in the bag dirty to get all the other ones dirty. Then you got more cleaning to do later. best way to tell if they're chanterelles they don't have gills on the bottom they have ridges if it has gills it is a jack-o-lantern and those are very poisonous don't eat those you shouldn't eat any mushroom without completely identifying it Chanterelles will come back several times a year when it get a good rain and it gets nice and hot. They love that hot, humid weather. Yeah, see, they're scattered all through this woods. There's a nice one. Oh. 
So they just go right next to this trail. They like woods with man-made hillsides around a lake or something that's been dug out years in the past. And they'll grow up in hardwood areas when they fill in. So that's what I'm talking about. Look at the size of that guy. That is a big chantrail. There's a deer. Can you see it? There's some big shanties. Oh yeah, they're everywhere in here. There's a couple close ones. Look nice and clean, fresh. Hell yeah, that was a nice one. Look how clean that thing is. Nice bright yellow. Go ahead and take them all. The ones growing in moss like that one always stay clean because there's no soil to splash up on them. Okay, I'm back at the car now. Never did come across that big patch, but I may be a little off of my timing. These things should be popping all summer. When I get home, I'll show you how to cut these up and do some cooking. We're going to make a recipe I found off the internet called Creamy Chantrelle Soup. That calls for one pound of mushrooms, chantrelles, that I put in this here box, which is the next best thing to store it in if you don't have a paper sack. Also need some vegetable broth. So I got this. It's better than bouillon. We need some other stuff. I'll get to that. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is clean and cut these chanterelles up. these off real quick in the water. Okay, I got these nice and clean. Just use your thumb to rub them off. Rub off any dirt that's on there or, or a soft bristle brush. And we'll start cutting them up. get rid of the bottom part of these stems because they can be kind of fibrous. Just cut them into half inch strips. Okay, I've got two kinds of chanterelles here. This one with the deeper ridges, that's a yellow chanterelle. This one here, more foot-like, it doesn't have the ridges as deep. That is a smooth chanterelle. Very similar.
All right, got all those cut up. Gonna we'll add these crumbs to the bowl. All right, crooked pinky here is gonna <laughs> cut up the onion for me. <laughs> yes, finely diced onion, a quarter Look. cup is what we need. Ah! He broke it. God damn it. He don't like that last cut. All right, we're going to pull the cup of onion there. I'm going to throw the rest of that onion away because it's the devil's food. Put these onions in this little bowl right here for now. Now we need to cut up quarter of a cup plus two tablespoons of finely chopped parsley. We're going to cut the stems off this parsley because we just want to use the leaf part of it. All right, now we're ready to start sauteing these chanterelles. We'll cut off three tablespoons of butter on medium-low heat. All right, our butter's melted. We're going to add in the one pound of chanterelles. We're going to add in some a quarter cup of chopped onions and a quarter cup of chopped parsley. I'm going to saute this and mix it up real good for about six minutes when the moisture released from the chanterelles starts to evaporate. Just discovered that our convict cichlids had babies while I was sauteing these. There's the male over here, and there's this girl. Look, he's coming up to the camera. He don't like it. Notice he's got all these fish twice his size down at the other end. He don't want them in his territory. Now you can see how much uh, moisture they released in there. And we're just waiting on that to evaporate. We'll be at, ready to add the flour. Okay, most of our liquid's gone now. I'm going to add in two tablespoons of flour. Sprinkle that all over. And I'm going to stir that for one minute. Then add in my three cups of vegetable broth. That looks like. Now 
And I'm going to raise the heat and bring that to a boil. Yeah. All right, we're at a boil. I'm going to turn it down to a simmer now. All right, give her a nice stir. Let it simmer for about 20 minutes. All right, it's been 20 minutes is what it looks like. Now I'm going to stir her in half a cup of heavy whipping cream. There we are. Get some of this put in a bowl and see what it tastes like. Bon appetit. Well, there's the finished product. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Enjoy it.